us not only good business lessons, it's also good vibes with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar is at home. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. Check out our free goodies over at 100mba.net. We got free course, we got free guides, all for you to check out completely for free. Today's lesson is a guest teacher lesson. In our guest teacher lessons, we bring on an expert to teach you a lesson in their area of expertise. This time around, we have Adam Franklin from Blue Wire Media, and he's going to show you how your web marketing universe fits all together. When it comes to your business and marketing your business, sometimes we get overwhelmed. There's so many things we got to do. There's so many things we got to have our hands on, whether it's email marketing, podcasting, social media webinars, it's kind of hard to know how all these efforts work together. And this is what Adam's going to teach you, how to make sure they fit together properly. And he's going to break it down to you in two parts, your website and your efforts to get people there. I can't wait to get into this one. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by Earth Class Mail. If you're just getting started, one of the first things you should do is get a business address. And you can do that easily with Earth Class Mail. They'll set you up with a professional business address. That way, all your mail for business goes to Earth Class Mail. And best of all, what they do is they scan all your email and put it up in the cloud so you can access it at any time. No more physical mail. And it integrates with all your apps so you can pay bills and invoices easily. Try Earth Class Mail for free with our special promo. Just go to earthclassmail.com slash MBA month and use coupon code MBA month. Again, that's earthclassmail.com slash MBA month, code MBA month. Adam Franklin is the co-founder of Blue Wire Media, and he's one of my closest friends over in Australia, Sydney, Australia. Adam's Blue Wire Media blog has been named one of Australia's best blogs for four years, and he's a leader in the entrepreneurship community in Australia. He's also the co-author of a best-selling book called Web Marketing That Works. He also hosts a top iTunes podcast called Web Marketing That Works. Check that out. Make sure you subscribe. But what Adam's true gift is breaking down the complex nature of media, of business, of marketing to people that are getting started, people that want to make sure they're covering all the bases, but at the same time, they're not spreading themselves too thin. And in today's lesson, Adam's going to help you get focused. It's a very precise, a very practical lesson on how to make sure your marketing fits in in your business model, how it actually helps you get more traffic to your website, and how to use your best efforts in the right areas. So let me get out of the way and let Adam take over and teach you today's guest lesson. Take it away, Adam. Hey guys, I'm Adam Franklin, and aside from hearing my fun Australian accent today, I'm going to take you on a web marketing masterclass where I'm going to teach you exactly how your web universe fits together and how it helps you achieve your business goals. So let's get down to business. One of the most confusing things about web marketing is wrapping your head around all the different tactics and platforms that are out there. It can be incredibly confusing and overwhelming trying to work out how all these building blocks fit together to create your web universe. So today's lesson is going to be in two parts. The first part focuses on your website and the second part focuses on getting people to your website. So let's look at the first part of the lesson. I want you to picture your web universe and in the center of your web universe sits your website. Your website is the most important part, firstly, because it's the patch of turf that you own, and secondly, it's where the commercial outcomes take place. Now, the name of the game with your website is to allow people to go on a journey so they can get to know, like, and trust you so that then they might purchase from you. Now, there's some very distinct steps that you need to take people on at each stage of this journey. And if you miss steps out, you make it very difficult for someone to go on the journey all the way through to becoming a customer. Now, the first step is getting people to know you. And this is where it's important to publish useful and valuable content on your website. The first part of this involves your blog, 
And the second part involves a piece of premium content or flagship content or a lead magnet housed on a landing page. Let's start with the blog. The blog is where people can remain anonymous but still get valuable insights from the content that you publish. I call this no risk content because the user can remain anonymous. After they've read some free no risk content, you need to have an offer or a call to action where the user is invited to download something of even greater value. So a lead magnet. It could take the form of a report, an ebook, a mini course, or a template, but something that has intrinsic value that is helpful to your ideal buyer. Now, what happens on a landing page is that people need to put their hand up and identify themselves. They do this by entering in their email address and very often their first name in order to receive that valuable piece of content. The real life equivalent is like swapping business cards with somebody because you are identifying yourself and giving the other person permission to communicate with you. So now somebody knows you. The second part of this journey is to enable somebody to like you a bit more. And you do this by letting them connect with you. So when they put their name and email address to download that flagship piece of content, you then have permission to communicate with them. And communicating via email is the most effective way to stay connected with people and to deliver value over time. You might send a regular email newsletter. You might put people through an email autoresponder sequence. And additionally, you might invite people to connect with you on social media. Once people know you and like you, the level of trust is increasing to the point where they are trusting enough to actually take action. And so when people take action, it might be in the form of an inquiry, filling out a contact form or calling you up or sending you an email, or it might be actually transacting with you, making a purchase. So that is the journey that you want to take people on with your website. Allow them to get to know you, like you, trust you, and buy from you. Now this brings us to the second part of today's lesson, which is getting people to your website in the first place. Because as you know, there are hundreds of millions of websites on the internet, so how is someone going to find your website? Well, there's three major ways that people can find you. The first is via Google, the second is via backlinks, and the third is via social media and content marketing. So let's start with Google. People all over the world every single day are typing in search queries and questions into that Google search box. So if you can optimize your website for certain keyword phrases that are relevant to your ideal buyers, then you can actually turn on the taps to a whole bunch of traffic to your website. Now there's two major types of search traffic. One is the organic search traffic and the other is the paid search traffic. Now the second way that people can find you is via backlinks. So a backlink is a link on somebody else's website that actually points to your website. Now it might be a link on somebody else's blog, it might be a link on a news website pointing to your website, it might be a testimonial that you've written for somebody else that includes a backlink to your website, but they are all backlinks pointing to your website. They're also known as inbound links. Now the benefit of an inbound link is that people click on it and they arrive at your site. So you are getting people visiting your site because of these backlinks. Now the second hidden benefit of a backlink is that it's a very powerful signal to Google that your website is trustworthy and has authority. You see, Google looks at signals on the internet like backlinks to determine which websites it ranks and in what order. So if you've got lots of good quality backlinks pointing to your site, you are going to have increased visibility 
and higher search engine rankings from Google. So that's the second hidden benefit of backlinks. Now the third and final way that people can find your website is through the circus that we call social media and content marketing. This includes all the platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Periscope, even things like podcasts and email marketing and YouTube. These are all types of social media and content marketing platforms. Now these are ways to publish and distribute content and the important thing to realize here is that it brings us full circle back to the start of the lesson because what connects the social platforms back to your website is your blog. So you house content on your blog and you share that content through social platforms like your Facebooks and Twitters and LinkedIn's. And when people click to find out more information, it takes them back to your blog. And so you can see how being active and by sharing content on social networks, it exposes your content to new people and it attracts them back to your blog. And of course, once people are on your blog, then they're inside your web ecosystem where they can then go through that nurturing process where they get to know, like, trust, and buy from you. So that's a wrap for your lesson on how your web universe fits together and how it helps you achieve your commercial outcomes. So to recap, you've got your website and you want to take people on a journey of knowing you, liking you, trusting you, and buying from you. And to get people to your website in the first place, you want firstly Google, you want secondly backlinks, and thirdly, you want social media and content marketing. And that, my friend, is how your web universe fits together. All right, guys, this was Adam Franklin. If you want to continue learning more about web marketing that works, I have created a template that visualizes today's lesson. It's called the Web Strategy Planning Template. And if you want to get your hands on it, please visit bluewiremedia.com.au slash 100MBA. Thanks again for joining me today. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. When you're building a business, you don't want to have to worry about the tech of creating your business website or registering domain names or getting SSL certificates for secure checkouts. Let the experts take care of that for you over at HostGator. When you sign up for HostGator, you get 24-7 live support. So you get a whole team of people dedicated to make sure you win with your business website. They'll help you and walk you through creating your website, maintaining your website, and upgrading your website whenever you need it to be upgraded. That also includes that when you start with the baby plan with HostGator, you can upgrade at any time as your business and your website grows. But the point here is just to get started. And now is a great time because you could save 30% off with our amazing discount code. That means you can get started for only $5 a month. Just go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. Again, that's HostGator.com slash MBA30. Thank you, Adam, for that awesome lesson. I love how you broke down how to make sure you focus on your website first and then focus on how do you get people to the website. Got to really work on your piece of land in the world of the internet, your piece of real estate. A lot of people do the reverse. They work on social media and then they neglect their website. Your website is where your business does business. Even if you have a physical business, your website's where they find out how to go to your business and learn if they want to actually buy things when they get there. For example, restaurants have a really bad reputation of having horrible websites. And a lot of people these days will not go to a restaurant if their website's hideous. It shows a lack of quality, and they automatically translate that to the restaurant's not that great. So keep that in mind even if you have an offline business. Guys, thank you so much for listening to The $100 MBA Show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get all our episodes automatically. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about how to get on stage and speak at industry conferences. And then on Tuesday, we're going to take a deep dive and discuss what is the best day and time to run a webinar. And later on in the week, we're going to talk about how fast should your email list be growing? Are you on track? I'm going to give you some information so you can gauge your success. 
So make sure you hit subscribe so you get those all automatically on your device. Guys, thank you so much. That's it for me today. But before I go, I want to leave you with this. Take Adam's advice seriously. Separate the two. Work on your site and make sure that you have it the best it can be. So when you invite people to your house, your website, you have something nice to offer. First impressions are important. Your reputation is important. So make sure you focus on that and then you focus on bringing people to your website. All right, guys. I'll check you.